Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today to share a roundup of fun and simple heart block quilts, pillows, projects, table runners, just a whole roundup of projects that are perfect for sewing right now or really for any time of year. I've got some of my patterns, some of Chelsea's patterns, and a few things that are from different books, and so let's get started. Okay, so first up, this is my together wall hanging. This one is a, actually does require the together pattern PDF or uh, download, which goes along with the pattern, whether you have the printed copy or the, or the paper copy, but this little addition is only available in PDF, but it is free and I'll put a link to it. Uh, so it takes some of the blocks from the together pattern, which was the Moda Stitch pink quilt and makes just a really nice size wall hanging. So that's the first thing I wanna share. And I will just put a direct link to that because I know it's been hard for some people to find, you know, the little PDF that you need to go along with the pattern. So first one, and then right underneath it, so just not skipping a beat, is the, the full size together stitch pink quilt. And so this one is pieced in our Sincerely Yours Fabrics. I've seen it all over, pieced in so many different collections, and it's also a really great scrap quilt. So I wanted to mention this one. Next up, since I've got it right here on the table, this is uh, the Valentine's pillow that I designed. And this fabric is an older Sweetwater collection. There is a more recent one that is pretty similar with the reds and blacks, so I can link that collection. I think you can uh, pick it up now if you're interested in using kind of this same color scheme. But this is just a little PDF pattern that is in my shop, and I will put a link to that. And it just has a, I, I put a zipper in mine, but the pattern is for just an envelope style back. And if you want to change that to the zipper back pillow, we can point you to a video and a blog post that shows you how to do that. Okay, this one is just another simple little table runner. It's called Patchwork Hearts. And I just had a lot of fun doing it just with the little, uh, kind of using the three pink squares to make kind of a semi heart. Anyway, this is just a fun little, little table runner that goes together really quickly if you wanna add a touch of Valentine's to your table. I've got a couple more small projects under here. This one is actually from my Home and Hearth book. This is the Hearts at Home Table Runner. And these fabrics are all Cory Yoder fabrics that I used for the book and I did a scrappy binding. But I mocked it up recently in my Sincerely Yours collection, and it would be really, really fun in really traditional Valentine's Day projects. So this pattern's available in my Home and Hearth book. And also in the Home and Hearth book is this version, which is a wall hanging or a table topper. And you can see that the block is really the same. It's just laid out for a uh, wall hanging table topper. So again, I've mocked this one up in Sincerely Yours Fabrics and it looks really cute in tr the traditional Valentine's Day look. Another table runner that is also in a book, and I actually pulled this book out to show you and I can link to it on Amazon, but this was a Moda All Stars book with Fat Quarter Projects. And all of the projects in this book either have two, four, six, or eight fat quarters. And I think this one, I can't remember if it was a four or a six, but this was my project included in this book. And even though we've got it done in, you know, more of a patriotic theme here, it's also would be super fun in Valentine's Day. So we'll link this one. I've got one more project on the table that I'll show you. And then I've got a whole nother stack of Chelsea's quilts that have. And while I'm moving these, I think we'll just put up on the screen my home body wall hanging. I didn't get that pulled out for this video, but it's another great project, perfect in Valentine's Day fabrics, but also fun in any other fabrics you might want to use. Uh, so we'll put the home body pattern up. Okay, and then my last project is this lovely 
This also is done, actually this is a combination of Summer Sweet fabrics that Chelsea and I designed and Corey Yoder's Canning Day collection. And so this is available as a standalone pattern and it's called Lovely. Okay, I'm going to start sharing some of Chelsea's projects. And when I asked her to bring hers over, I didn't realize she had so many. She really has a lot. One of them she didn't bring, and it's actually one of the free tutorials that I wanted to tell you about today. So we'll pop up a picture of it right now. And it is a Valentine's pillow that is perfect for a bed size pillow, like a pillow sham. So we'll put a link to her blog. She has a free tutorial for that, and you can get that pattern information there. I, I don't think she has a PDF. I can't remember. She might have a PDF, but the tutorial is on her blog. Okay, so first up from Chelsea, this is Hearts at Home and Hearts at Home 2. And this is a honey bun quilt. This is another one. I, I had fun a couple weeks ago. You might have already seen. I mocked up a bunch of these quilts in our Sincerely Yours fabric. So tiny little hearts for the center of this quilt, but hearts at home too, and put a link to this. The next one is Good Hearted. This is in our Sincerely Yours fabrics and uh, just another one of Chelsea's darling, darling quilt patterns. I'll spread it out. And I really like this one because it goes together pretty quickly because these these alternate blocks, you know, you can chain piece them and put them together really, really quickly. And I love the two-tone hearts that she's got in the center. Next one is Cross My Heart. This one's actually a bit bigger. It's 61 and a half inches by 61 and a half inches. Lots of background fabric. Love the quilting that our friend Marion did on this one with the little hearts in there. It's just really, really fun for this one. The next one is Community, and it's not a, you know, only a heart block quilt, but it has these darling houses that have hearts in the windows, and so I figured it would count for this roundup. I really think you could do just one of these house blocks in Valentine's picture, fabric, in Valentine's fabrics, and add a border for a really fun Valentine's pillow. But it's a darling quilt also, and this one finishes up at 57, I think, by 70. Okay, so this is Chelsea's original Hearts at Home pattern, which is a log cabin style quilt with a heart in the center. And this is a jelly roll pattern. This actually isn't the first one she made. This is kind of a rainbow version where she used fabrics from a ton of our different collections. I see some Bright Sun right here, which was our first collection, and Balboa, Happy Days. I see Desert Bloom, uh, just Summer Sweet, just really a fun mix. And then I've got one more version of this that I'll pop up on the table to finish us out. Okay, and last but definitely not least, this is the first Hearts at Home quilt that Chelsea made featuring our Walkabout collection. And just, just another example of how heart quilts are really fun in everyday fabric collections as well. You don't have to pick a Valentine's collection to make a heart quilt. And just, just another fun quilt. And we will have all of these linked in the description below. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these projects and hope that they inspired you for some of your own sewing right now. We have all of the patterns and a couple of them are free, as I mentioned, and so you can find those, all of the links for the patterns and also for the free ones in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope that you will share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.